How you doing everyone? And uh, yeah, we've got new charger in my shop. So this one is ISDT PD60 made with connection with UR UAV. Collaboration between two companies. This is only intended to be like uh, you know, travel charger kind of thing or for your goggles batteries stuff like this something something small or your micros so you've got xt60 on this but you can order something like this multi cable I've got this one of aliexpress so then you've got all kinds of different connectors on it xt30 fat shark uh, this kind Deans, but I've plugged I've blanked Deans with, with this silicone cap. But it's not a video about this, it's video about chargers. So to power it you need special power supply. Something decent, not a uh, old uh, phone charger because drone cams video showed that uh, old uh, type of uh, phone chargers will not work with it, it will show you error so you need uh, quite a lot of amps so what I did I purchased a MacBook Pro power supply which is over there and it's got USB-C cable both plugs are identical all small ones and then we'll power it make a sound and uh, you can change between lipos, li HVs, LIFEs and I NIMH type and then it's 1 amp, 2 amps, 3 amps and 6 amps that's uh, when it's charging it will show you that will be illuminated not sure what about this and then there is a uh, error sign there is no fan on this one so it should have a lot of ventilation so it's staying on top of my uh, desk while other chargers are over there so yeah so let's try it I've got 1800 pack over here all connected and then balance lead it can take up to 4s four, uh, four so 6s uh, guys sorry it's only 4s charger it's good for your micros and stuff like this uh, for me it will be for my goggles battery because it's only small batteries but it takes time so then other chargers can charge my lipos and this one will do my google batteries so show you uh, current charge what's in the battery so current level is about half full nearly it's in storage mode so it's about right so let's go with uh, two amps and then charge it. Yeah, it's showing us charging. I believe when it's ready, this one will be on green, illuminated on green. That uh, charging has just stopped and it's ready. And is any error, it'll show you this sign. So yeah, it's uh, it's jumped to three now. So it's charging. It's going up. Let's try to six s as well. Uh, six amp, sorry. Yeah. So it's not showing any errors with six amps with uh, MacBook Pro power supply. So it's got enough juice to run it. Well, of course, I'm not charging on six amps. Let's go with about 3 amps for now. It's, it's 
not even warm. It's got cooling head over here, so yeah, give it a lot of ventilation, make sure it's not buried under something else. And uh, yeah, it's a good little small charger. That's what I can say. We'll see how it goes. Well, power supply, it's 80 plus watts, so it's pretty big one and it should give enough juice for this charger so yeah so one thing just don't use any small uh, phone chargers maybe maybe quite big uh, quick charge free type will work but just go free quick charge free QC3 uh, Qualcomm protocol that should work with it as well I'm not about six I'm not uh, sure about six amp setting with Qualcomm QC3 stuff but we'll see yeah with MacBook Pro power supply it's working no problem as you can see and it's just charging stuff nothing overheating it's a little bit warm here because it's a uh, cooling head, so that's why. Yeah, so thanks for watching and see you next time.